everybody welcome back to another baby update video on my channel my baby is almost not a baby anymore he's 11 months old so in one month he will be a year and I can't believe it This month has been really rough for him. Poor baby has cut three new teeth this month. He has had, I think, four um, occupational therapy home visits since the last baby update. Something else that is new is he's starting to pull up. He will be in his crib and will be laying down and then I turn around and I look and he's on his knees and he's holding onto the bars and he's all the way standing or not standing up but he's on his knees and he's pulled himself up also in his um, little walker that we put him in occasionally he can now move around in it he used to just back up in it now he can navigate anywhere there's a smooth surface On October 2nd, he had surgery again on his urinary tract. I swear he is the happiest kid that I know, especially for going through all he does. We got to the hospital and at this point he hadn't eaten or had a bottle since like 10.30, 11 o'clock the day prior. And this was, I think like 7 in the morning it might have been I think it was like 7 in the morning we got to the hospital for check-in and his surgery was scheduled for 8 30 and he was just in the happiest mood and once they took him back we were taken down a hall to a waiting room and we were told to wait there until after surgery was over and the doctor would come in and speak to us and take um, me back to recovery to be with him come back and he had some papers to, or pictures to show us and my baby threw another surprise at him and he didn't end up using uh, the deflux um, injection that he had intended on doing. So the surgery that he had, we had spoken about, we had signed paperwork over, didn't happen. What did happen was, I will tell you, my baby had some scar tissue that was connecting um, to his bladder and the other end of it was connecting to part of the ureter and kind of leaving it wide open, like lifting it open. And so that way the urine would shoot straight back up there super easily because it was wide open for it to where they're supposed to, you know, close off the little um, flaps on the ureters. So um, I don't know if it was there from uh, one of his previous surgeries and we just didn't catch it because the doctor said he's only seen this one other time um, in the past 20 years and that he doesn't know how he missed it before if it was there because he's been down there four times um, but he thinks that it was the cause of this severe reflex that he keeps having so what he said to his surgical team he was like okay hand me my laser he they got his laser and what he did is he um, you know cut it on both sides and seared it because of it's a laser and he thinks that that will fix the situation. So um, that's all he did. And I was told uh, it kind of looked like a little tornado. I will put pictures up here of that. Um, and it was clear as day to him today. I mean, not today, but the day of the surgery. Um, and he just hadn't noticed it before at all. But hopefully that situation is fixed. We won't ultimately know for a while. Um, my baby was still asleep and he had one of the little masks on um, that was uh, shooting him oxygen, uh, you know, to help him come out of the anesthesia. 
once he woke up, I could feed him, and so uh, we got like eight ounce bottle um, of what is that called? Um, the Pedialyte, and um, I think she added some of what they call sweeties to. Uh, that was the like the recovery room outside the surgical room, and we were able to transfer him from that room to a different recovery room. I guess it would be like the discharge room, the room that he was to go in, and um, we'd let him kind of move around and wake up a little more, make sure he wasn't throwing up or anything, and he didn't have any um, blood in his urine. We had to wait for diaper change and stuff. Um, which they said that could happen, but it probably wouldn't with um, the lasering he had done. But anyway, just to see. And everything was fine, and he was acting back to himself once he got up. He wanted the IV out of his arm really bad, so um, they were able to get that out and him bandaged up. And um, we were discharged, and I think we were discharged around 1, 1.30. He has been waking up in the middle of the night um, often this past week and I think that he doesn't nap a lot during the day and so he stays awake and stays awake and stays awake and then he crashes super early like 6 six thirty in the evening and will be down like I go to bed between 8 and 9 o'clock usually because I get up early for work and it's kind of messing with me because I have to leave my house at 4 o'clock in the morning to be at work. And in that time, I would say 9 o'clock to 4 o'clock when I should be sleeping and getting my rest, I might wake up three times with him. Oh, another thing that is big. Um, and it was nothing me or my husband intentionally did. We think he kind of weaned himself off his pacifier. He has always been soothed by it. When he's upset, give him his web and a pacifier, and he's happy. He plays with it even if he wasn't, you know, sucking on the passy part because he liked the giraffe. But this past month, he has no interest in it, like not even to play with it. He doesn't want it in his mouth. When he's upset, we try to give it to him, you know, thinking he'll teeth on it. He has no interest in it. It's like he just quit it cold turkey this month. So that's really the main updates. Um, I will post a bunch of pictures of this past month here. I didn't take as many photos this month. Uh, it's been a very busy month. Next month, baby will be a year old when I do the update and he will have been through his first Halloween, yeah, his first Halloween ever. And anything planned for his birthday. We were going to plan a birthday party, but then that kind of fell through. So it's just a little frustrating that his birthday is um, so close to a holiday. But um, I don't know what we're going to do to celebrate his birthday this year. So all of that will, of course, be in the next update. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and um, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I do upload his 12 month update or should I call it a one year update? I don't even know.